Hey there lovelies! Thank you so much for joining me on this pinup girl video. I'm getting ready to finish my transition for my closet here and some of the best pieces that I have are the true vintage. So what I'm going to be doing is I headed downstairs into my basement where I've got all of my vintage clothing and all of my out of season pieces tucked away. And I ended up finding two more of my storage bins full of true vintage. And I wanted to go ahead, open up these bins, get everything hung up and start going over these pieces with you guys and enjoy and cherish these true vintage pieces from the 1940s, 1950s and the 1960s. So let's dive in and take a look at what I've got so far while I still have one more bin I've got to hang up. Woo! <gasps> okay, I'm all done hanging up all of these fabulous true vintage autumn and winter pieces. So let's go ahead and dive in. Where do I start? I've got here a two piece uh, matching little bolero jacket with a wiggle dress. And I absolutely adore this very light plaid print that has this very offset little um, collar here that matches our wiggle dress. And then everything ties in with the plaid as we do have some very cute little detailing there on the neckline. I love the shape of this bolero as it is not as structured, but with it being a little bit more short, it definitely gives and accentuates your waistline and you move that very va va voom body shape that was signature of the 1950s. I love the big pockets here too as they are on the hip line, so it definitely kind of pops out. Very hourglass leads to just that very straight pencil cut skirt, so it's going to give you that wiggle shape so as you walk, we all know get a little wiggle. On the back here, it's got some beautiful detailing as far as the bottom of the bolero jacket and really cute little cuffs here on three quarter sleeves for the jacket. And there is the label there. Now in recent times, I did have to sew the dress in to fit my body shape and it does fit really, really well. I think I do have to try it on again and just make sure everything still fits the same, real snug and real good. Uh, but I absolutely love just how simplistic and how beautiful a set like this was in the 50s. Piece number two here this beautiful pleated lampshade skirt that really does give it that really straight silhouette but it actually is a little bit flared with this beautiful just simplistic gray and dark charcoal design with that v-shape which is really signature of that 1940s after world war ii victory i love the fact that this has that kind of gabardine wool um feel so it definitely has some weight to it so you definitely feel warmth when you're wearing it uh, it did have a label so we can look at that here love the nipped in waist and again with the right bra you're definitely going to have the right bust line for this type of dress giving that v shape there on the motif a real pop with your with your body shape Ooh, look at this piece oh, i've always adored this number what I've got here is this beautiful one piece teal blue sweater dress with these beautiful copper metal buttons down the front I came across this number in Chattanooga when my husband and I were having our first anniversary and um, we definitely had to head in and do some antiquing while in the city. I do believe I had to make an alteration on the back here as it did have maybe some unwoven or a hole from what I can remember, but I did a really good job, I think, and you can't even tell that there was any alteration made to the skirt. No label on this one, unfortunately, I couldn't find, but um, it is a beautiful piece and wonderful condition other than the f alteration that I had to make on the back, but it doesn't take away from the beauty of this color and the construction of this dress. Ooh, 
Ooh, still sticking with sweaters here. I love the 1940s style with these little V offset color here that's knit onto the shoulders of the sweater with a slight dolman sleeve and a knit little cuff here for on our three quarter sleeve length. I definitely love the fact that it has a matching belt too. I have always been a fan of these knits that you can really wear the sweater and skirt together or you can wear them completely separate but it's always such a fun piece to really put it all together and it really does come as that beautiful pinup girl look. So I'm so excited to bust this out especially on one of those chilly days and give this a whirl as it's one of my favorite two-piece sweater pieces. And there isn't any label on this on this particular piece but a beautiful piece for this fall and even into the beginning of winter Ooh. this is a really fun piece that i came across absolutely love this charcoal gray which actually it's got a more solid uh, wool fabric here and then we've got sweater knit sleeves What's really awesome are the off tones of these really beautiful little tassels here, which are in this like beige white, we got red, and then the matching charcoal gray. What's really cool too is this is the 1940s dress, so the zipper and how you wear it and put it on is at the front. So it is something that hides and is concealed once you have it zipped up, but it gives you opportunity to kind of change the length if you want. We've got a little offset of color on the band here on the cuff of the sleeve. What's nice is we've got just a simple uh, bust line here, so definitely wear the right type of bra will definitely give you that va va vim. Leads into that nipped in waist, and then we do have a few little pleats here along the lower hip line that lead down to a nice pencil style skirt. A look at the label. She came across this dress at an estate sale. I had previously talked to you guys about that estate sale where it was a honey hole, if I could tell you. And this person had hoarded all of their clothing from the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. And this was just one of the pieces that I actually came across and took home. How simplistic this one is and how beautiful it can be for that 1940s and 1950s pinup girl look. Oh, this one I call the Lucy dress. I Love Lucy would definitely be wearing and getting all jazzed up and ready for whatever schemes and tactics she might be up to. Beautiful accents of this almost Christmas style plaid and we have that kind of lead into this beautiful neckline and bust line that, that also has a very nipped in waist and then leads into a full circle skirt. Two hip pockets with also accents of that plaid, which is again just so beautiful and subtle. I don't think there was any kind of label on this one, but again, I just love, I love the detailing. Again, just a perfect I Love Lucy dress. Holidays are coming! Woo! Ooh, another sweater set. With this set, we definitely have a cute little crop top that's short sleeve here with this beautiful V-shaped victory 1940s motif there. The center little, little accent there. Beautiful detailing just right there on the neckline and then we do have a nice little collar here. Beautiful little collar. Metal zipper down the um, back of the neckline so you can get it on a little bit easier not messing up your hair and i do love the fit that nips down into the waistline there so really simple i love that this is just that really almost um skin tone beige this one did have a label here so we've got that got the label there and what a fabulous piece i love i just love these two pieces little sweater knits. I have a lot of them. There'll be there'll be a lot more of these sweater sets in my winter uh, collection that I'll unveil once we definitely get into into winter. Ooh, so this was the one I was hanging up as I was saying hello to you all and it is a beautiful two-piece here of that again charcoal gray this is a very lighter wool so it is a little bit more um, not as thick so it's gonna just give you a little bit more breathableness when you're wearing it but this is a perfect set of what I would consider that signature pub of mustard yellow of the 1940s 
40s. I have this two piece where it is this beautiful top that almost has a jacket feel to it with that construction with beautiful bust line, the nips in at the waist, and then you do have this really, really flowy little peplum here. Offset and accented with faux little flaps here as like, I guess, pockets, but it really does give everything with the cuff here and then all the piping here at the neckline all together for that really, really beautiful look. I absolutely love too that's got this little bake light uh, accent here, right here with the bow that matches. So beautiful. I do have the matching belt with that, so that's a plus. You definitely want to make sure you've got that all cinched in and beautifully fitted for that look. It has a total back button up, so um, it is a little bit difficult to wear. You gotta just try to button it up so this could be a two-person job but again I think some of us out there can really get it down. We do have a very simple and subtle pencil skirt that goes with this piece. I did not see a label on this one so this is another labelless piece but what construction, what beauty in this one. Ooh. Another little gray tone dress. This is also such a beautiful textured dress too. We have a beautiful neckline that has a subtle collar that lead down to a beautiful set of metal buttons that were silver toned at one point. The scalloping there along the bust line really makes that whole look really pop and give you a little bit more va va voom in your shape. We've got loops here for the uh, fasteners for our buttons and that leads down into a beautifully nipped waistline detailing all along the peplum here that lead into a beautiful flared skirt. We've got a close-up here of our label there. And I definitely enjoy too that it has such that subtle tone that's so easy to, um, again, play with all sorts of accessories and colors for which you wanna make this accent really pop. Really happy. Love and inspired. I'm just totally, the juices are flowing. Now who doesn't like a good velvet? This is a very beautiful hourglass shaped wiggle dress uh, for cocktail hour, for your evening out. It definitely is that dark, dark purple, but that velveteen velvet feel. We definitely have some beautiful detailing here along the neckline and also along the back line here. And I just want to show you guys, it's so beautiful on this, on the detailing because it almost has like a pillowy um, feel and we have beautiful rhinestone accents that give these shapes of the floral accent here along that neckline and it also matches the back too. We definitely have a side metal zipper and I'm going to show you the label here. It's going to be sideways maybe. Hold on. Little pockets here at the hips. So it's very almost like Marilyn Monroe meets, you know, like uh, Rita Hayworth. Perfect. And I have a perfect hat that goes with this too. So it's going to be great for cocktail hour, especially when I'm just sitting at home, ready to relax and indulging into a vintage movie. And in today's video, I was wearing a beautiful 1940s vintage little sweater top that is in this beautiful cream knit and accented with gold and beautiful tones of rhinestones and beautiful pearls. And then we do have our Vivian of Holloway circle skirt that matched perfectly with our top here and a accent of belt and some beautiful jewelry by Splendid that matched really well with my blouse and a few bangles to match. And that was it. Thank you all so much for watching. It's a blast to bring you guys into my vintage home, unveiling my favorite vintage fashions and getting inspired for this upcoming season. I will have more of my vintage fashion unveilings coming really soon. As we get into the winter season, I have three more storage bins full of true vintage fashions that I can't wait to go ahead, bust out, pull up here, and unveil with you all coming up super, super soon. So stay tuned for that. 
and definitely hit my subscribe button below to stay on top of all of my upcoming pinup girl adventure videos and more of my lifestyle videos on the pinup girl era so definitely head over to my Instagram too where I socialize and love posting my daily vintage outfits fun videos on my adventures and more on what inspires me to be the pinup girl I am I so appreciate you guys coming and tuning into my videos I hope you all have been staying safe out there you stay fabulous stay lovely and most of all you all stay vintage bye